Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to use the 3 to 8 decoder within the Proteus Head Professional Simulator. So how we can do it? First of all, we will go to the component option and here we will write 74LS138 and this is our 3 to 8 decoder IC. So you can see that this is our decoder IC with the brand name 74LS138. So first uh, we must know that what a decoder circuit is. Actually a decoder circuit is a logic circuit through which we can control multiple outputs with the help of few inputs. Simply we can say that if we have like uh, three inputs available we can still control seven out eight outputs okay so that is why it is called as three to eight decoder okay so here we can see that there are three inputs that is a b and c three enable lines and eight outputs so we will go and we will take logic toggle So this is our, these are our logic circuit. So here we will connect three of our inputs with the logic toggles, okay? So that is uh, with the help of these logic toggles, we can give one and zero on the inputs. And what about the enable lines? We also need to connect with these connect these with these logic toggle so that is why we can make the size c enable me enable simply means that either if we have to give certain logics on these pins in order to get this ic working so uh, you can see that there are two bubbles on e2 and e3 so here you must need to apply zero and zero but one is e1 is without bubble so here we will apply one so in this way we can only uh, get this ic working so now we need to take logic probes as well logic probes are our logic indicators that is either we have zero on the output or one or whatsoever they will tell us okay Question mark means that there is a, like a, there isn't any sort of zero and one. Okay, so when there is zero, it is it is uh, blue. In, it, it it will it will it it will change its color to blue and uh, and show zero on its on its face. Okay, so so here now we will run it out and uh, first our first combination is zero zero zero. In DLD, you must know digital logic design. You must know that this is our first combination. What is that? Is zero, zero, and zero. So you can see that our Y zero is uh, selected or controlled. That is, we can send zero on the Y zero, and uh, instead of uh, one Y is zero because it has bubble. That is inverter, Inver invariant sign. So that is why it, it is showing zero on the Y zero output. Now we will go for our second combination that is 0, 0, 1 and here it has selected Y1. Now 0 is shown on the Y1. Now what about the third combination 0, 1, 0. Now it is showing Y2 that is third output. Okay. And 0, 1, 0 and then 0, 1, 1. Then it is showing Y3 that is fourth output and 0 is displayed on the logic probe. After this is done, 0, 1, 1. After this logic has been done, next combination logic is 1, 0, 0. So now our Y4 is having 0 on its output. Then 1, 1, 0, 1 and Y5 is selected. Then 1, 1, 0, Y6 is selected and 1, 1, 1 is for Y7. So in this way, we got or we can get control or got control of all the outputs with the help of these three inputs.
so that is why we can say that this is a 3 to 8 decoder circuit and uh, what are its practical applications its practical applications are actually uh, with the microcontrollers that is microcontrollers usually have less number of pins and if they and with the help of these microcontrollers if you want to control a lot of devices we must have to use either serial to parallel serial in parallel out uh, shift register or simply these decoders okay uh, and a serial to parallel shift uh, things are like uh, a bit uh, difficult to use so so best option is to use these 3 to 8 decoders so hopefully you got the concept so thanks for visiting our channel